Hi everybody, it's Don and it's suitcase today because today is travel day. My son is still sleeping upstairs and uh, I'm getting ready to head out. It's um, 7 o'clock in the morning. I have to go meet up with my nephew this morning, hand him off some paperwork before I leave. But uh, yeah, uh, some parts of my cruise have changed. So you might have heard now my friends Tony and Jenny decided to cancel their Holland America cruise leaving from Quebec City on Sunday uh, because of the hurricane Fiona heading up in that direction. And I was kind of um, feeling myself a little bit lucky because I leave on Sunday out of New Jersey, Cape Liberty, and the uh, hurricane had passed me by. However, <laughs> as will be with uh, the weather this time of year in the Caribbean, there is another storm brewing now um, off the coast of uh, Cuba and Mexico called uh, Depression Number 9 right now. But they are saying within the next few hours that will start to turn from a depression to a tropical storm to a hurricane, possibly all the way up to a Category 3 hurricane, which is set to hit possibly, depending on the direction it goes, as always, depending on the direction it goes, uh, the coast of Florida, either down near Orlando area, Tampa area, right where Tony and Jenny decided to not go into a hurricane. Maybe the hurricane's going to come and visit them now. Um, or it could even go up as far as Miami when it hits landfall. They're not really sure. It all depends on a cold front that's keeping uh, pressure heading south, which is keeping that hurricane from making that curve yet. So we'll see what happens. But if it hits Orlando, as they say, on Tuesday, Tampa, Orlando area on Tuesday, um, that's the day I hit Orlando on the Oasis of the Seas. <laughs> so yeah, and if it hits Miami, that's even worse because that's the that's where our cruise ship has to head towards next as it heads up in the perfect day at Coco Cay. Ah, it, it's, it's the fun times of cruising this time of year, folks. It really is. You just never ever know um, what the weather's going to be, you take your chances and uh, you go from there. Now, uh, what another thing that's possibly changing on my cruise, well, I know it definitely changed on my cruise. If you watch my Just Dawn channel the other day, um, you saw that I made some bid upgrades on my cabin. Um, I made five different upgrades, everything from an owner's suite to a two bedroom grand suite to mini suite, like a junior suite, to something as simple as a larger balcony cabin. Um, all of which would save me money than buying it directly had I bought it directly. Well, I won one of them. Now, am I jumping for joy that I won this one? No. <laughs> if, if, if I got my choice of which one I would rather be in, um, it, it would probably be a, a different cabin, but I did win one uh, because when I went to get my luggage tags this morning, because I, I haven't been able to do my luggage tags because it was waiting for my bid to be either accepted or not because it didn't know what cabin I would be in. So I was on deck nine before and now I'm on deck 11. That's not a big deal, um, but I'm not in a suite. I'm not in a junior suite. I'm not in a two bedroom, an owner suite or anything. I won the larger uh, balcony uh, regular cabin. So I have the regular size cabin, but I have a larger balcony now. It's one of those extended out balconies, which I like because I like to sit out there and I like to record at the same time, which gives me more room and more space when I have a tripod and camera and everything set up. You know, I like to have I like to do the background scenes 
for some of my videos when I'm out at sea and, uh, or, uh, and this one could be interesting. I'd like to have the bigger balcony if we have really, really rough seas as well, because you don't have to sit right up. I'll be more protected in the area I'm in. So yeah, Suitcase and I are pretty excited. We get to fly out today. I'm imagining that the flight will be as bumpy as all get out uh, because they're still having the remnants of of Hurricane Fiona is still hitting us and I'm leaving from Canada flying to New York well Toronto then to New York and um, I'm imagining the air currents and the the flight streams and everything our Gulf streams are going to be pretty 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 rough and I'm on a smaller plane this time because it's a short trip from Toronto only an hour and a half flight or something like that so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bumpy ride today, but hey, uh, we got things to look forward to. I have a bigger balcony on my cabin, hurrah! Uh, and I have a hurricane heading towards my cruise ship, hurrah! <laughs> so stay tuned for that, everybody. Stay tuned for that. Maybe uh, maybe Tony and Jenny will run over to Orlando when I get there and jump on my cruise ship to get away from the hurricane. Because uh, it's just... Your best laid plans, everybody, is uh, you got to roll with those punches. But um, it's, it's cruise day. And it's up in the air day. Because who knows what's going to happen.